Bien, mesdames, messieurs, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Well, uh, I, I'm going to say a few words in English and then we will switch to French. I, I, I think, frankly speaking, you could speak French together because... No, what, what, you have agreed to speak what? What language? Français? English. English, okay. So I will introduce in French then. <laughs> because three Frenchmen who... No, you are not, you are not, we are partly French. <laughs> Anyway, um, we thought of uh, having this uh, session, uh, religion and politics in, in China, because uh, it's clear that very few people or too few people are, in, are conscious, are aware of the importance of the subject of religion in, uh, in, in, in China. Uh, it is absurd to say that uh, China would be the only country in the, in the world which is not religious. And uh, not only has China a religious dimension, but this uh, dimension is perceived as very threatening in the long term for, by the regime. And uh, that was shown in particular the last uh, Party Congress, the 19th uh, Congress of the Communist Party, and uh, repression is uh, obviously uh, more and more uh, perceivable. So, uh, by the way, we have lost the moderator, who is somewhere mm -hmm. in uh, the hotel, but he uh, perhaps uh, it has fallen asleep, and this is why I'm introducing the, <laughs> the, the subject. <laughs> But, but after all, I am responsible for the organization of this panel, so, so why not? But I will just uh, retreat in a, in a second after having introduced briefly the two uh, speakers. Uh, Franciscus Verelen, uh, on my left, uh, is a very prominent uh, scholar, uh, very well known, but all the... Uh, Sinology, sinologues, on the sinologues, huh? <coughs> uh, and uh, particularly he is a great expert of the Tang uh, period, uh, but also of uh, religion, the subject of religion in general. And he follows from Hong Kong, where he's based. The two of them, by, actually, are based in Hong Kong. He follows very closely contemporary issues as well, and particularly this issue uh, on uh, religion. And uh, Franciscus is the author of uh, many uh, highly scholarly uh, books, but I think this is not going to be the subject of this uh, afternoon or tonight. <coughs> and Jean-Pierre Cabestan uh, is... So Franciscus is what, what 20% French, something like that? Well, by adoption, French, let's say. Not by so you choose the percentage. No. And uh, Jean-Pierre is uh, one of the best known experts on China uh, in, in France and is, he has a worldwide reputation and he has, been, he has been based in Hong Kong also for how many years, Jean-Pierre? 11 years. 11 years. So uh, Franciscus will start uh, with a uh, focus uh, particularly on this uh, religious uh, aspect and Jean-Pierre will take the floor next and uh, talk about uh, the well, political situation in China more uh, generally. And this being said, I thank everybody and I'm going to sit on the first row because my, pre my presence is no longer needed. Mm. Thank you very much.